Hey, how's it going? Sketch Monster here. Today we're going to go over another iPad drawing lesson on Procreate. This is how to draw an angry emoji. Very simple. You're going to learn a whole lot about Procreate and we're going to go through it step by step for beginners. Let's get started right now. Before we do that, hit the like button and let's get started. Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go around and draw an angry emoji. It's going to be very simple, easy for beginners. Let's get started. Um, we're on Procreate. If you want to learn about Procreate, this is a spot. I'm going to teach you how to draw on Procreate if you have an iPad. Let's get started. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select um, the custom cartoon brush that I created. I'm going to put this in the description below. Go pick up this brush set. Uh, makes things a lot easier. Um, all right. I'm gonna go over here and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a circle. So how do you make a circle, right, on this? It's pretty easy, you just, let's just say you make your imperfect circle and then you hold it there. All right, isn't that cool? You can hold it and then if you wanna put two fingers to the screen, I think you put one finger, it'll make it a perfect circle. Right, isn't that cool? But you don't need a perfect circle, right? There's a little bit of a mark right there. But you have that. So now we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna draw a line down. One second, line down, because it's gonna be angry. A line down over here on the other side, like a check mark for the other eye. Down, a line over here. Gonna go over here, curve underneath. Curve underneath, like a U shape over here on this side. Curve underneath like a U shape. Right on. So far, so good. It's simple, right? Don't forget, hit the like button if you like these Procreate drawing lessons on the iPad. Remember, in the morning, they're the traditional drawing lessons with marker and paper uh, every morning. And every evening, I'm going to put Procreate drawing lesson because it was requested. It's a little bit more of a specific group, but I do think you'll enjoy it. Uh, you can also learn from it even if you don't have Procreate. Um, everything is typical drawing technique. Let's go over here curve for the right side of the mouth down right here line over here on this side and line up I want like a to be more R on one side I want this expression to be more kind of like asymmetrical that's one thing I really want to do I don't want to make it completely symmetrical because I don't think that's gonna be a good idea all right gonna go over here to the eyes oopsie daisy let's move the whole thing Curve here for one eye, and then it's gonna be kind of close together right there. Fill it in except for the highlight. Fill it in except for the highlight. Let's go over here, and I'm gonna find a little bit of the edge of the teeth here. Right there. Fill it in. Oopsie daisy. Fill it in here right there on this side over here on this side okay we have our circle and our face now this is a kind of area and I kind of talk about this a lot is this is where you want to fix your lines. Um, you don't have to do this because you just want the impression. And to be honest, a lot of people won't notice this part if you do it. But I'm going to go right here with my, you know, brush tool. And I'm going to just kind of fix some lines. Let's just say some lines are a little bit thinner or thicker or things I don't want. Maybe they don't fully connect. I'm going to go over there and kind of finish this off uh, for me, whatever is satisfactory to me. Again, most people really won't notice this. Some people will. Um, and it might kind of overall make your drawing a little bit more high quality if you do this step. Um, so I do recommend doing it, but it's not necessary. I want to emphasize that it's not necessary. You just want the impression of what the drawing is. And right here, it's an emoji. It's very simple. Let's get into color real quick. Uh, I'm going to add another layer. I tend to do it this way a lot. Go to the N, go down to 20, I don't know, 35, 36. Doesn't matter, but it's the, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that yet. Whoops. I'm sorry. Let's stay on the same layer. Forgive me. I got it wrong. I'm going to go over here to the top right-hand corner. 
select kind of yellow, orangey, probably a little bit more orange. And so the outside is the color, which is called hue. And the middle is something else. So if I move this up, it gets light. If I move it down, it gets dark. If I move it to the left, it takes the color out of it. Okay, it sucks the color out. It gets more in gray, gray, gray. If I go to the right, it infuses it with the color that we selected. And that's called saturation level. Um, so we're, usually we stick to the top right hand corner for some cartoon related stuff. Um, and that's kind of what I'm going to do. Let's go over here and I'm going to drag this. Let's have my color. See, dizzy. Drag it and drop. I think he needs to be a little bit more yellow, in my opinion. A little bit more bright. Bam. See? Kind of adjust it as we go along. I like that. I think that's perfect. Uh, now what I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow. So I added another layer. This is what I was doing before. Another layer. Go to the N. Move it to 35 percentage. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to select the black here. And now everything is a little bit of a shadow. I'm going to put it over here on the eyes. Pulling up. over here on the left maybe bag under the eye it's a little bit different because he's so much you know he's an emoji right so it's a lot simpler right there's gonna be maybe a line under here for kind of the folding underneath the mouth um, or you can maybe give it an entire you know little value right here this entire round area right hopefully you can see that really well something I want you to do is I want you to practice on this every day when you do this whatever it may be um, your practice is what propels you forward and it's going to be so gradual you're not really going to notice. You're really not going to notice. You're going to be like, oh man, what's going on? I, I don't know what's happening. Like, you're just going to be able to draw things that you weren't able to. Your lines will become cleaner and you won't know why. It's because you're putting in that muscle memory, um, you know, that hand-eye coordination every day. Um, and it kind of builds up over time to the point where you won't really notice. And that's what's kind of cool uh, about it. So. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, is this almost the end of the lesson? But let me let me say a couple of things. Number one, please share this video. This this is a little bit left field, I think, for me to do drawing lessons on this. But a lot of people asked for it, so um, hit that share button, uh, and so we can make this kind of series uh, successful, and I can create more, and it'll kind of like infuse me to do these a lot more often. Uh, right now I'm doing them every day and I kind of don't plan on changing that, but please do me a favor and hit that share button. Share it on any website you want. Let's put some shadow on the teeth here. Share it on any website you want, uh, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, uh, with a friend uh, who maybe has been looking for lessons on this. Uh, I love teaching and I love kind of talking to all of you. I'm very easy to reach. So if you want to reach me, you can reach me on Instagram or just reach me in the comment section. I want to thank you very much, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Uh, and like I said, uh, I'll see you soon. Say hi to me in the comment section right now. If you can hear my voice, say hi, and I promise I will reply back, okay? Try me.